Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. You know, a couple years ago, Lehigh Defense sent me some prototype 300 Blackout 300 AAC Whisper bullets. Now, if you know anything about the Lehigh Defense bullet designs, they take great pride in their innovative fluid transfer monolithic bullet designs for their pistol calibers. They've actually incorporated some of that FTM design on some of their other centerfire rifle bullets. However, I'll tell you what, man, I'm so freaking stoked because I tried these out two years ago and I actually, I think I killed three or four coyotes with them. And after that first coyote, when I did a post-mortem on the coyote, I thought, man, these bullets are wicked and wicked they are. In fact, I did a, uh, I did a gel, gel shot. I'll go ahead and roll that clip right now. Check it out. Man, you talk about some tremendous uh, wound cavities through that gel block. Now keep in mind, that was a Gen 1 version. Uh, the Gen 1 had more of a spire point, and the Gen 2s now have a, uh, the flutes are deeper, uh, and they're more pronounced toward the tip of the bullet. So I've got my 300 blackout pistol here. I've got a 10 and a half inch barrel, and I've got my energetic armament Box S 308 can. Got my Pulsar thermal setting on top. For my coyote rigs, I like to set up sight in at 50 yards. This 120 grain supersonic bullet, I'm getting around 2,046 feet per second out of this 10 and a half inch suppressed barrel. I like to sight in at 50 yards, thereabouts, uh, because I hunt at night, and so you never know, you know, you may have some coyotes that come in just charge into the call, so you want to be able to, you know, shoot fairly accurately at close range, and it still gets me a good trajectory out to 200 yards. So I'm going to check the zero at 50 yards. I'll get the Tacticam Spotter LR going. Let's get the Pulsar Thermal recording as well. You know, you know me, I love to have multiple uh, video feeds. All right, I'm going to shoot the uh, circle on the right. All right, get the thermal shut off here. Hey, not too bad, look at that. Okay, looks like I'm uh, impacting a little bit high to the left, so I'll go ahead and make my scope adjustment. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take one shot to confirm. All right, gotta like them results. All right, folks, I got my quarter scale coyote target set out at 150 yards. Shooter app is calling point nine minutes come up, which is roughly, oh, that's, you know, that's not much of anything. I can still probably hold a little bit high on the target. See if I can get some hits on it. Okay, got the thermal going on. Here we go. Okay, Tacticam is running. Impact. 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 Oh yeah, look at that folks. Gotta love those results. All right, folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Man, I am so stoked. Last time my coyote hunted with these Gen 1 bullets, man, I'll tell you what, nothing, nothing can stand in their way. You know, I, I don't have the luxury opportunity to hunt deer with this 300 blackout because we're a straight walled state, but this bullet will be a revolution for the deer and hog hunters where you're allowed to use them. Pretty excited about the results. Remember, support that Second Amendment. We'll see you later, and I thank you. Oh, by the way, these are prototype bullets, so... Once Lehigh Defense, I th I'm going to do some gel shots coming up just to, to validate the, uh, the promise of them penetrating straight through. I know the flutes are going to cause some serious wound damage. We'll see you later, and I thank you. <laughs>